So to begin the still life, the first thing you're going to do is not even really worry about the fact that you're going to do a still life or anything else. All you're going to do is cover the paper with a ground tone. Generally speaking, this ground tone would be anywhere from value 3 to value 5 on the value scale. If it's much darker than that, you won't be able to see your initial gesture lines. If it's much lighter than that, it doesn't do a lot of good because then you'll just wind up having to darken everything way too much anyway. This is going to take a long time up front, but it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run once you get to the rendering stages. Um, and what you're going to be able to do in the end is you're going to be able to add tone and erase out of this tone to create a very quick block-in pattern in the sense of light very early on. So you're going to go in about one to two inch little bands and go across the page uh, very systematically. You can go in any direction, it doesn't matter. The thing you don't want to do is get out a big graphite stick and start uh, making huge lines across the paper. If you do that, you're going to hate life um, because you're going to be fighting all those huge marks that you made uh, later on in the process. So this is all I want you to worry about for a while, and um, I'll show you what to do with the ground tone once it's all done. The next thing you're going to do after this is uh, you're going to set up your still life and start to make some thumbnails. So we'll go over that tomorrow.